Well, hello there. Welcome to Star Wars Galaxies. Not just any Star Wars Galaxies you've seen, but my Star Wars Galaxies. This is my server. And this server has been customized a little bit. I'll get into that once we actually get in the game. But first, let's, uh, let's make our character. We're going to be human. Randomized bit. Yeah, that's kind of lurch looking. So I like that. We'll go with that. Alright, so for the purposes of what we're doing, we're going to make a brawler. And we'll generate some names. Until we find one we like. Nifatiko, that's a good name. We're not going to do the new player tutorial. I've done it a million times. I don't really think I need to do it again. I don't think I need to run around a space station after the Imperials jack my ship. So we'll just click next. That'll put us in the game. And bam. Alright. So we'll move that over here because that's where I want that. We'll move this up here. Make it a little bit bigger. Zoom out one click. Shorten chat because it's not going to be terribly important to us for this situation. And back to camera control. So use. We're going to start in our usual Moss Eisley spaceport. So let's get there. And things can start getting interesting. And here we are. Oop, crap, I haven't played this in a while. I'm not getting any sound at all. I don't need help. Okay, that's why. So we got to turn off background music. We got to turn off player music. Turn the master volume down just a tad. There we go. All right, and now the game should be a little more comfortable. So I set this server up myself and I did so because someone posted a comment that what if manufacturers and companies and publishers put out the games when they decommission them as single solo, solo player instances. So I spent about an hour setting up the server and then I spent another hour or so customizing it. And by customizing it, I mean I increased the experience rate to 10 times the value. I changed the loot tables. I made it so that you get 10,000 cash and 10,000 in your bank starting out. And as far as I know, you can master every class. So, if you take a look, it says 250, but based on what I've changed, it should allow us to keep learning and learning and learning. So we're going to put that to the test. Now, one of the things I've done 
is also reduced the cost of houses and whatnot down to charge no maintenance and installations to only charge one power per cycle. Can't expect to get everything for free. But my offer to you is that if you're watching this video and you have any interest in playing on a boosted simplified server, I can post a well, I can post a video on how to set it up so that you can play if you want to. And how to change your installation so that you can actually get on here. Now, since I am playing this to prove a point, and I'm playing it as a single player. Well, that's weird. I won't interact with you, but you're more than welcome to get on and do as you please. But I'm only going to do this if there's any interest in it. If there's not, I'll continue to shut the server down when I park it at night and call it a day. But we're going to try to play the game and get to a point where we get to a respectable level of end game content the theme parks and whatnot okay so we are unarmed right now so we need attack basically and berserk that should pretty much do it now let's go find something to kill since the server just came up the spawns are kinda low it will actually build them as we run around Actually, I need to move that over so I can see it, because I can't see the time. There we go. Now I can see the time. I really should run this in Windows mode. Windowed mode. Okay, so there is a diseased Bocat. A little more than I want to bite off right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to see how far we can make it on our own, with no interactions with other players. Basically, if there are other players, I'm going to treat them like NPCs. No grouping, none of that, no cooperation, no anything like that. So in order to survive, we're going to need to learn how to do or figure out a way to get things like weapons. Ah, Dwarf Nuna. Hope this thing doesn't kick my butt. Okay. So, the 10 times experience is working. We got a good amount of combat experience, a good amount of unarmed experience. I don't know where the corpse went. I hit it so hard it blew up. Now I did it at the loot tables, so there is a lot of chance of it. God, this weather. There's a lot of chance of us getting. rare components and whatnot. Okay, I need to pull that over. So I can't see what that is. Fugitive. All right, so let's go train our unarmed skill. But two, two Dwarf Nunas down and we already maxed it out. Actually, 
crap. Let's make it worth our time. Eh, maybe we should specialize it first. So, what I may end up having to do is make a player city that has things in it, like the trainers and whatnot, and create a vendor to, uh, to be able to buy items that typically one would need. And that wouldn't be out of the ordinary for a single player game to be able to purchase items. So kind of build my own mall, stock it. But right now, we're not in need of anything, so it's not that big of a deal. But we're either going to have to build it or find it. And our goal, like I said, is to get to the point where we can do kind of end game content. And that would pretty much put us in the realm of finishing a solo game, in my opinion. All right, so we should really decrease the cost of training as well. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I should have some time to work on it again tomorrow. But these are the little things that come up, and I'll have to do some adjustments along the way. I'm sure. Also going to need to learn Entertainer. Because... Wounds are going to become a problem eventually. Uh, I did turn off the character development terminal. So that's not there. Because it was easier to turn it off than to restrict myself from having things in it. And this is basically Bone Stock Core 3. Jedi's and already loaded up, the village is running. Typos abound. They're all mine. They're not the teams. Anyway, everything is as you would expect. It's basically pretty well vanilla Star Wars Galaxies with modifications to make it a tad more suitable for a solo player. Let's see any dangerous ones. So let's go take this guy out. Like I said, in this one, looting is definitely a possibility. So I believe I worked in a one in 100 chance of a common item, but it does vary on the loot tables of the creatures themselves. So if the creature doesn't have a loot table, which these typically don't, We won't be able to get anything. Hey, look, we already maxed out unarmed two. And I picked uh, unarmed because, well, being unarmed, we uh, have the ability to get some weapons. Because our weapons come on our on our on our arms and our our legs, so we don't need weapons to start. There's not as much crunch to get a big bad weapon because uh, it isn't going to do us any good. 
And getting 135 points of combat experience for killing this guy is just amazing. And the reason I amplified all the uh, experience was because I don't want to play this forever. Not like this. Okay, Seavorts. As long as they don't get close, I'm okay. Let's heal up. So if it's possible that we can learn multiple skills, I want to learn them all. Well, pretty much all. We can't master musician and we can't master dancer. But we can at least get some of it going. And we can do all the crafting classes, grind those out. They shouldn't take any time at all. And that's one thing we got to do before we leave, is throw down a uh, wind harvester. So we're going to have to get artisan. And we are going to want to be able to stop attacking. So we're going to want that there. Yay, more targets. But yeah, we're going to want to get some harvesters down. Hopefully, we're able to make a harvester. Okay. Are we, are we getting experience still? Oh, nope, we're not. So let's equip our knife. Because we are also going to want uh, one handed. Well, this is like way easier with buffs. Alright. This game is terrible for getting money. So... We really need to get to a point where we can take out NPCs because they've got cash. Sometimes. Yeah, by the time we get to the trainer, we'll have healed up. A significant amount of wounds. Let's unequip that survival knife so we don't forget. But, yep, first thing we're going to do, unarmed. Second thing we're going to do, one-handed. Because if we can stack everything to max, and we master everything, it'll make for an interesting experience on the higher end content as to what we can and can't do. So based on how stackable these things wind up being, because if you have 
this bonus over here, uh, skill mods, and this adds to unarmed accuracy, unarmed damage, blah 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 blah. Doesn't really add to anything useful generally across the board, but as you go up, melee defense. This adds different things. Having this much melee defense and then adding in something else to see if it carries over, because it does in most cases, uh, we could get a good amount of natural defense. And I've never had the opportunity to play a character that mastered every single skill. So, in worst case, we may actually go in and force master, not like Jedi force master, but edit our character to give us uh, Master Dancer, because it's going to be impossible to Master Dancer, because Master Dancer has melee and range defense. So I may edit the database and give myself those points sometime. And the reason being, they're going to be impossible to get. So... But as things go, probably going to want to be a scout. And... Oop. Learn these two skills. Now, this doesn't have to be the game that you do this in. I started with this game because it was uh, the game I'm most familiar with. So, in the grand scheme of things, I should be able to uh, do this easier than most other games out there. Not much point of picking a faction. And the most important one, Artisan. And this puts us at a disadvantage because I do not have any sort of crafting tool whatsoever. So I may have to drop myself a crafting tool. So I did not start as an artisan, which would have been the smart thing to do. This is the hard part about the uh, starting in a solo game. Didn't think about that. Don't have the capacity to make our own. Which means we can't make scanning tools, we can't make anything. However, we do have the skill, so that's good. And I'm perfectly okay with my other character. Giving me a crafting tool, because technically I probably would have had one. It just didn't occur to me that I was going to need one, because I wasn't sure. I cannot or could not remember if they gave you one when you started learning artisan or not which really they should and to save time I will probably make that city out there and I will put all the trainers in it just because that would be the best way to do it and that way I don't have to go running around 
Now, however, we do have the option of finding some of this stuff. So that'd be cool. Let's go see if we can find those uh, NPCs that we were looking at. And there's the warts. Going out this way first. Rock my a little too hard. Probably should turn that off too. Uh, the uh, terrain negotiation. Or edit myself so that I have enough terrain negotiation to not worry about it. Okay, Hermit. So we're going to go take out this Hermit and see if he's got anything on him. Probably not the best idea, but. I need stuff. A heck of a flame you got going there, buddy. All right, so I find nothing on him. Much real. Opies. I know there are bandits around here somewhere. And without buffs, it's a little difficult to get around. Definitely become lunch for something fairly easy. But hey, for getting started and setting up, we're already in uh, Brawler Unarmed 3. So, if I wouldn't have dilly-dallied around so much, probably could have had uh, Unarmed 4 done. My wards. Alright, so we'll stay away from them. I mean, really, I just want some bandits or something. I would love to stick to NPCs. Rock might's a little too hard. Because, I mean, he's got, uh, I think, 464 health. And a good bit of defense. So we'll keep on keeping on. I'm sure we'll stumble across some NPCs here soon. Another rock might. Something beyond the rock might. More rock mites. Something's aggressive. It's a tempest rail. <laughs> yeah. We'll stay away from that guy. But these guys are okay. We can do them. A 
And now we can earn some scout points. Remember, always loot first. Although, like I said, I doubt they're going to have anything lootable on them just yet. Harvesting. There we go. So all the quests are in place. All the uh, other things are in place, just like the standard server. There's two of them there, isn't there? No, nope, just one. All right, let's go try this rock mine. It might be too hard for us. But, that's okay. If it is, it is. too hard. In the grand scheme of things, though, it's not efficient to kill these guys. Because we're going to spend more time healing than anything. Yeah, I'm not looting anything. Alright, let's go uh, train. Because we got unarmed three down. Makes us even more dangerous. And then we'll be able to do even more damage. Like I said, at 10 times experience, this isn't going to be a horrible, arduous ex uh, journey. Maybe when we're done with this, we'll explore another game that actually, where the emulator actually has vendors and whatnot to make it a little easier. But I figured if there was a game we were going to do that I knew, it's this one. Totally didn't remember what side we were on. Went <laughs> the complete wrong way. So much for knowing this game.
All right. Takes our funds way down. And the trick is, is with the wounds and everything, if you go in a med center, your wounds actually disappear. Not a horrible thing. But that does leave us with mind damage and battle fatigue. And let's make sure that it's working, that if we dance ourselves, that we do shed that. This would be a good test. Today is just a good test of the server itself to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to do. So far it seems to be. Only thing I've got on my notepad so far is crafting tool and probably a scan tool because we're going to need to do that. All right, so let's do basic. And we did our flourish. Now we should start gaining experience. Yeah, yeah, it, it would be possible for us to master entertainer because we are gaining entertainer healing experience as well. So you do get it for yourself, but it's going to take forever to get that much healing experience. Mine wounds are all gone. Battle fatigue is fading. But even at 10 times experience, that, that is a huge amount of entertainer healing experience that we need to get. But we can master dancer. Which is going to take forever. Good enough. Our test is done. Let's see what the mission terminal says. I think I might need to bump back to default pre-14-1 mission payouts to make it worthwhile. Spice fiends. Difficulty 20. Disease bow cats. Creedles. Kind of low to be taking missions. I think we can do a Gorg. I think they might be just a little too high for me. What's their CL? 18. So Gorg is going to be the same as basically spite fiend, Spice Fiends, Seaborts are a little hard. Minoc. Yopies. I think 20 is the lowest. Dwarf Nuna. I can do that one. 
Do I take it? Mission is this away. See, these are the things that you don't think about when you play the game about getting crafting tools and things like that because. You can always buy one on the bazaar, or you can buy one from somebody else, but we don't have one of those, so no can do. So we take out these dwarf Nuna, and we get... How much do we get? 1,200 credits. Not huge, but hey, it keeps the lights on. And it is. Not too far away. Might even st stay where it's sitting because of the fact there's no houses or player cities that it could be in. But it might bounce. We'll see if it bounces. But in order to expedite this a little bit, I do think I need to bump the mission payouts a little bit. Because 1200 is a little light. off. Nomads aren't bad people. Kill too many bad people. Then we start to have a bad time. I guess we could have taken those gorgs. Wouldn't have been too horrible. Looks good.
But hey, we do a couple of these missions and we'll definitely have enough to train another skill. Got a hundred meters to go. Look forward to getting some scout. We didn't even get Ranger all the way up too. That'd be cool. Oh, now we bounced. Not too far. Ooh, Slave Master. Stop back and check him out on the way. If we don't get too messed up, we might be able to take him. But that's not our priority right now. Chickens. That's our priority. It's a pretty big nest. And at a thousand points apiece. Oh, we gotta kill like 70 of them to get our four box. I don't even think it's that many actually. It is 70. Do Nuna. Nuna Nuna. The higher we get, more damage we do. Get that scout terrain negotiation, and then those hills will be no problem. And then tracking. Will we get Ranger? We're attacking a little bit faster, I can see that. Oop. This is gonna hurt. Nope, we're good. And the key thing, grab all the resources we can as we can. And 
know, once we get to level four, that's when the fun starts. So we get spin kick. Which should pretty much carry us all the way up to master. this. Wait. There's one more. And the Academy Award goes to there could be any scouting experience. I'm not. I actually maxed it out. We are hitting a Warren, not to be confused with the Warren. Yeah, one more should do it. Train that scout box too. And all the planets are enabled, so pretty much think I set up instantaneous travel as well, so that is a good thing. We don't have to sit and wait for shuttles. I think there's like a 10 second delay between when the shuttle disappears every 900 seconds and when it comes back. So, I doubt if we have to wait, we'll have to wait long. Just look into my cold dead eyes. wasting effort like this. Did not see this one hiding in the bush. There's a reason I turn off all the flora. I think this is the last one. Then our mission will be complete. At least I don't have to worry about killing anybody, stealing anybody's kills. And 
2760. Not bad at all. Let's go check out the slave master. Let's see if we can take him. I mean, the worst case, we'll just die. It really isn't going to be that tragic. Alright, now this guy we loot. And he's got a carbine. I'll hang on to that. See, this is what I was talking about. The NPCs have a chance that they might drop what we're looking for. He didn't have nothing. Got building over there. POIs are all up and running. Some credits. Does Buddy have any credits? Probably. Yep. This might get me killed. Oh, a fencer. Dead fencer. So we got a carbine and some credits. Fair enough. Which way's town? Going the right way. Yeah, I am. I need to make a waypoint for Moss Isley. Sometimes in the sandstorms, it's hard to see which way you're supposed to go. Where'd I end up? About 30,000 to 70,000. See how much the COP is worth. Seven hundred forty-five. See how much this COP is worth. Seventeen hundred and seventy four, huh? I don't think animals have anything. I think their loot table is kind of blank. That whole giving resources thing is their whole deal. Don't 
run away. Yep, 1774. Lots of resources. I would like to be able to go back and train. Four thousand. This could hurt. Hello, ugly. Going down, Yopi. Let's just make a macro for that. I'd like to make an arm four before I get out of here. Easiest way to do that, kill these EOPs. Let's get some more out. Can't really do much until we have some combat skill. Once we got that locked in, we're pretty safe. And all this stuff we're uh, harvesting will put to use eventually. So we're going to have to craft a bunch of stuff. So if we can do it ourselves, 
That'd be awesome. Almost there. Yep, there we go. Got it. Not really sticking up for his buddy, is he? Regardless, <sighs> Gonna end up running a lot of missions to pay for training. I have a feeling. It's the problem with uh, solo servers and paying for training. Two to go? Yep, two to go. Almost got that box, too. Now we will kill enough stuff on the way back to get it. It's actually inevitable. Just keep punching stuff. I have the high ground, Eopi. You cannot win. And now we take out the lair. short. Pretty sure we can find 10 things to kill on the way back though. What we got over here? Gorg. Fifteen thousand. I don't know how much Gorgs are social. I think they are. So when I attack one, they should all probably attack me. We gotta kill like 14 Gorgs. Shouldn't be a problem. This is pretty much as fast as it should go. If you get buffed on a live server, 
You can make it this far in an hour easy. Even with that experience boost. to go. Kill that last Gorg. And there should be some more stuff along the way. Womp rats are a little too big. Bunch of rock mites. I think they're worth like a thousand apiece. So, that should get us there. It's a fair colony of them. things beat the snot out of me. Need like four of these. Got enough to do it. hundred points away. One more rock bite should do it. Ooh, ouch. There we go. Now we got an arm four out of our way. Let's head back to town. Gotta edit uh, speeder maintenance too. Like decay. Because uh, once our speeder's gone, it's gone. There's the old Isley. go. Gotta be fun to be a TKA fencer, creature handler, master brawler, rifleman. Kind of looking forward to seeing what that's all about. That sign says, Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. All right, let's go hit that trainer. And then we'll call it a day.
Hey, I remember where I was going this time. Cool. Man, I'm tired. Sometimes you're just not close enough to them and they don't answer you. Cool. Let's, uh... That's Marksman. I need Scout. And Exploration gives us Terrain Negotiation. Hunting gives us Harvesting. So Hunting first. Yeah. All right. Let's go heal up our stuff. Should take just a minute. There we go. Now let's go get rid of our battle fatigue. We can kind of summarize what we got going on here. Now we need to make a macro. Call it SD one. I think I need the semicolons. I haven't made a macro in this in ages. Bar right there. Get our screen up so we can watch. All right, so our goal to play Star Wars Galaxies solo by ourselves. 
as little interference from any other players as possible. The only thing we're allowing so far is a scan tool and a uh, crafting tool to get started. So stir those up, get them ready for next time. See how far we get. Uh, once again, if you do want to play on my server, that is perfectly fine with me. I will make sure it runs instead of shutting it down. Just let me know in the comments down below. Not saying you have to, just leaving it out there if you wanted to. And if you uh, enjoy the idea of playing on a boosted server that is pretty close to stock, well, this is probably be a good one because you get little interference and you can play around as much as you want with having little commitment to uh, houses and whatnot and this is my biggest thing about this game is the constant maintenance that it takes to run a, ha a house and a harvester and whatnot and all the money you gotta dump into it uh, since rent is free and power costs one unit you can uh, pretty much do what you want I think I have to expand the lots though because I think that needs to be increased a bit and I think there's a couple other things I need to fine-tune mission payouts and things like that to get them a little bit higher maybe uh, half again is higher so multiply them by 0.5 and see how that works out but uh, that's about it uh, we're gonna keep playing here and we're gonna try to see if we can master every profession if that's working then awesome then we could see what a character's like with every skill That'd be so cool. Anyway, I'll continue the series and we'll keep going. But uh, until then, not getting any. Oh, <laughs> I didn't call it. I actually just uh, put the command in. I was going to say, I'm not getting any dance experience. 42 dancing experience. I thought it was supposed to fade down. It doesn't. It's just like one per flourish. Hmm. That's alright. But getting uh, 10 entertainer healing experience is going to uh, be painful. The first one isn't bad. Getting up into these ones that require like 25,000 and then in, up into the higher ones where they require like huge amounts like 125,000 you got to do that twice and you got to do it through all four of these boxes. That makes it a challenge but whatever. Anyway we'll be back to normal here in a sec. I'm going to go ahead and end this. I'll see you guys later. Definitely keep watching if you have any interest to see how challenging this is. And uh, like I said, if you want to play on the server, drop a message down below. I will be happy to put up instructions on how to connect to the server, and I'll leave it running for you. Uh, and like I said, not that you have to, but it's out there for you. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, and we'll proceed on our path. And this really shouldn't take that long because the amount of experience we're getting, it's, it's just huge. So not really a big deal. Anyway, see you guys. Thanks for watching.